Now let's go ahead and install PHP Storm. So I'm going to search for PHP Storm. And that should take me to JetBrains. I've already created a student account, which is shown in the other video. And I'm going to download get PHP Storm 9 now. Great. So I'm going to open this thing up. And I'm going to drag it to Applications. Should be installed, so I'm going to go ahead and close the installer. And let's go to Finder and see if I have it in my Applications now. Applications. PHP Storm. And open it. So I don't have a previous installation here. I'm going to go ahead and add my JetBrains account so that I get a year free access. Great, so I'm licensed until May of 2016. Use the default stuff here. And go ahead and say OK. So I already have XAMPP installed, so I'm going to go ahead and create a new project. And the location, it's going to be in my XAMPP htdocs folder, which I have to remember where that is, so hold on a sec. So let's check under applications. So application XAMPP htdocs. So there's my XAMPP folder, XAMPP htdocs. And then I'm going to create a new folder in here. So let's go ahead and create a new folder called CIS195P. And then that's going to be the folder I use for location. And then my project is going to be called week one. So now I have an empty project. I'm going to create a new, should be PHP file in here, but let's create a regular file. And we'll call that, um, say, oh, let's say main.php. And I'm going to create a PHP island. And then in here, I'm going to create a variable, name equal Mark Goodman. And then I'll close my island off. And then I'll create some HTML. And uh, made a little mistake here. I need an exclamation point. And then that tag doesn't need to be closed. So HTML and then head and then title hello mark and then we'll create a body and in here we'll create a paragraph tag and we'll put the text hello and then I'm going to fill some stuff in here welcome to CIS 195p and then what I'm going to put here is another PHP island and 
and I'm going to echo dollar sign name. So that's going to print the value of this variable, which is declared in this island up here. And it should say, hello, Mark Goodman, put a comma in here, comma, welcome to CIS 195P. So now I should be able to load this file in my browser. So here's Chrome, go ahead and open a new tab. And I'm going to navigate to localhost CIS 195P. And I get a directory listing so I can open week one. And here's the PHP file. And it shows, hello, Mark Goodman, welcome to CIS 195P. So if I two-finger touch and view page source, here's what the page looks like to the browser. It's just regular old HTML. All the PHP stuff has been replaced with whatever HTML it output. So this used to be a PHP island. Now it's just the text Mark Goodman. And there used to be a PHP island before this doc type tab, and that's just completely gone now. So as far as the browser is concerned, it really doesn't know whether it was accessing a PHP page or a regular HTML page. So it looks like our XAMPP install is okay, and it looks like our PHP storm is installed okay. So in the next video, we'll try to get the debugger to work.